Hello and welcome to another video with the Bearded Tech Guy. In this video, we will be taking a look at a few different products from SwitchBot. SwitchBot was nice enough to send me a few SwitchBot bots, a hub mini, and a thermometer that we will be taking a look at. SwitchBot bots are little Bluetooth enabled robots that are able to push, pull, or hold down a button that they stick to with adhesive. The SwitchBot bot comes in white or black, and depending on the color option, the pulling tabs that come with it will be color matched as well, which is a nice touch that I appreciate. The bot runs on a single CR2 battery, which can be replaced by opening the top of the case and changing the battery out. They have two modes, press mode and switch mode. In press mode, the bot will do a simple press action, which can be configured to hold down the button from 1 second up to 60 seconds. This is good for devices that are toggles, such as the on-off button on a TV or computer. In switch mode, the bot will have an on and off mode. Switch mode is intended to be used with an adhesive attachment that will stick to your device. Again, you can set the hold time from 1 second up to 60 seconds. This is great for paddle style light switches that you want to turn into smart switches. Take note that this will not work on the typical toggle style switches many US homes have. To set up the bot for the first time, pull the tab out of the side and the bot will turn on. In the app, as long as you have Bluetooth enabled, the app will detect the bot and you can make changes to it, such as changing its name and controlling it. You are also able to set up schedules for the bot. This allows you to schedule when a button should be pushed. Schedules can be set up for the bot and then the app will push the schedule down to the bot. Standalone, you can just use the bot by itself as long as your phone is within Bluetooth range. You are also able to have multiple bots without any issue. But if you want to be able to control your bots from further away or through a smart assistant such as Google Home, you will need a SwitchBot hub. SwitchBot actually has two hubs, the Hub Mini and the Hub Plus. Both hubs allow for you to connect multiple SwitchBots in your home to the internet so that you can control them from anywhere you are with a mobile device. The hub also allows for you to connect your SwitchBot products to Google Home, Amazon Alexa, and even If This Then That. The only major difference between the two hubs besides the price is the form factor. The Hub Mini is a small compact square, where the Hub Plus is a fun cloud shape that has color changing LEDs. Another feature of both hubs is that they have a built-in IR blaster that you can teach different remote commands to. SwitchBot has a database of pre-selected remotes, which is pretty cool, and if your remote isn't in there, you can program each individual button from your remote, with a pretty easy button learning mode. Once you have all your buttons set up, you're able to have the hub send the IR commands to your device. With the custom learning ability, you're able to add anything with an IR remote, even portable fans, AC units, or fireplaces. With IR, you do need to make sure that the hub is pointed towards the device you want to control. Again, you don't need to have the hub for the bots to work unless you want them to be accessible from the internet or if you want to hook them into a smart assistant or if this then that. SwitchBot also has a wireless temperature and humidity meter. The meter runs on two AAA batteries and comes with a stick-on metal attachment that you can place anywhere to mount the sensor. The meter itself also has a built-in magnet for attaching it to things so if you have a magnetic surface you want to attach to, you can use that instead of the included metal sticker. The meter features a high accuracy sensor that has an operating temperature of negative 4 degrees to 176 degrees Fahrenheit. With the meter you are able to set up thresholds for both temperature and humidity so that you are alerted when the meter detects its environment is outside of your set parameters. Attaching the meter to a hub gives you data logging so you can see past temperature and humidity levels which is nice and you can even export your data if you want. Out of the box, SwitchBot bots are able to be easily accessed through the SwitchBot app without requiring an account. This is handy for quick and easy setup, but can be a bit of a security concern depending on how you use SwitchBot. For example, you can attach your SwitchBot to a garage door opener. This is a quick and cheap way to retrofit a garage door opener, but in theory someone with a SwitchBot app could open your garage door if they are close enough. Because of this, I highly recommend adding a password to your bots once they are set up, even if they aren't attached to anything important. To set up a password, click on the settings cog for the bot and select password mode. From here, select Password. You will be prompted to enter the password you would like to use. Enter it and click on OK. The first time you go to use the bot, you will be prompted to enter the password for that bot. Once verified, you will not have to enter the password again. You will have to add it on any other phones that might control the bot or if you have to reinstall the app for some reason. So make sure to keep the password safe. If you have more than one bot, you can either use the same password for all of them or different passwords for each one. SwitchBot bots are a great way to retrofit light switches in your home without needing to do any electrical work or trying to install neutral wiring in your house that mostly all smart light switches require. They are also great for renters as you can remove them when you move, without too much hassle. 
Besides light switches, you can also use them on TVs, soundbars, garage doors, remote power control for networking equipment, computers, computer monitors, Google Home or Amazon Assistant mute buttons, printers, dehumidifiers, dishwashers, sound machines, fans, air conditioning units, and pretty much anything that has a button that can be pushed. Scenes are a great and easy way to add automation to your home. Scenes are more advanced schedules that are triggered based on conditions and can trigger multiple actions. A condition can be a manual execution, based on a schedule, or triggered by other devices such as a SwitchBot meter. A few scene examples are turning off all the lights controlled by SwitchBot bots at a specific time, turning on a coffee maker in the morning before you wake up, or turning on or off a dehumidifier that's controlled by a bot based on the humidity detected by a SwitchBot meter. To create a scene, open the menu, select scene, and then click on create a scene. To add conditions, click on the first blue plus sign or click on add a condition. Here you can decide if you will manually trigger the scene, if you want it based on a schedule, or if you want it triggered by a device. Once you have your condition selected, click on add an action. You can select the action you want to take. And if you want to trigger more than one bot, you just have to click on the blue plus sign to add more. You can also name your scene by clicking the pencil towards the top of the screen. Once your conditions and triggers are all set, you can set a time period for when the scene is valid. This gives the ability to select specific days and time frames for when the scene could trigger. After your scene is set up, it's a good idea to test it out. Once tested, click the check mark at the top right hand corner to save the scene. Once created, you'll be able to disable and enable all of your different scenes. In order to set up scenes, you must have a SwitchBot hub. There are a few areas I can see that could be improved on. For example, if the bots could have a smaller profile, they would be less noticeable and fit in better with a home's decor. I also could see the benefit of having a physical button on the bot itself that someone could push to trigger the bot. If the bot is on something small or blocking the button it's on, it could be difficult to quickly trigger it, so having a physical button someone could push just might be helpful. Something else I wouldn't mind seeing is the ability to have a time-based scene trigger used more than once. For example, if I have a button that needs to be pushed at 8am, 1pm, and 4pm, I would have to make three different scenes. It would be helpful to be able to only program one scene to run at all of those times. From a security standpoint, I appreciate the ability to put a password on the bots. This shows that they put some thought into the environment these devices would be used in. With that said, it would be nice to be alerted if someone tries to use a bot over Bluetooth and puts in the wrong password. It would also be nice to see a prompt in the app when setting up the bots, recommending putting a password on them. This would get more people to use the feature and help them be more security conscious. Lastly, I think it would be great to see multi-user support so there can be different accounts for different people without sharing the same credentials, and having the ability to control which devices each user has access to. SwitchBot supports integrations with Google Home, Amazon Assistant, If This Then That, Siri Shortcuts, and SmartThings. I plan on making additional videos covering the different integrations, so make sure to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to be one of the first to know when I release new videos. The different SwitchBot devices come in at reasonable prices. The Bot is listed as $29 USD, the Hub Mini is $39, the Hub Plus is $49, and the Thermometer is $19, and you can find links for them in the description below. Overall, SwitchBot has several products that are easy to set up, and the SwitchBot bots are a great way to retrofit old lights or other non-smart devices very quickly and affordably. It's great that bots can work standalone over Bluetooth without the need of a hub but having the ability to add a hub for added functionality is a nice option. I would love to know what ideas you have for SwitchBots, so let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps out the channel immensely. Thank you for watching.